Having weeds is one of those things that can be problematic. A big one this time of year is crabgrass. You can try to hit it with chemicals you find at the big box store, but sometimes the crabgrass can be a little too mature, and this is where commercial products comes into play. I've been trying out one particular product and I'm impressed with the results. This product is called Quinclorax 75DF. It comes in a small container, but this product can actually go a long way. It even comes with its own measuring gauge, which is useful if you're looking to treat a large area. The mixture rate for this product is 0.367 ounces per 1,000 square foot. Whether you're broadcasting or spot spraying, it is the same mix rate. Obviously, if you're looking to treat a large area, you're gonna wanna use a calibrated backpack sprayer and adjust your mix rate from there. Since I'm spot spraying, I'm only using a small amount of product. I'm gonna use a scale to weigh my product out. I'm using a one gallon pump sprayer and I'm gonna measure out 0.367 ounces of the product into one gallon of water. I'm gonna agitate it really well, then I'm gonna add my surfactant, as a surfactant is key in order to allow chemicals to stick to the leaves. Before you start spraying, it's important to make sure that you're treating the crabgrass and not Dallas grass. They are very similar, but there's two ways to tell them apart. Crabgrass will actually spread out and grow on the ground, while Dallas grass will tend to grow upwards towards the sky. But the best way to tell them apart is by the seed heads. Crabgrass seed heads tend to grow from one location at the very tip of the stem. You'll see the seed heads branched out, but they're all coming from one location. Also, the seed heads are much thinner. The seed heads on the Dallas grass will tend to come from different parts of the stem. Also, the seed heads are much thicker compared to the crabgrass. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now as you spray, you want to spray in one pass. Don't go back and overlap your sprays. Because I don't have crabgrass, I went out looking for one in a public area. After I sprayed, I came back five days later and I had very good results. You can see the before and after pictures. This product gave me very good results against crabgrass, but if you have a bunch of other weeds along with crabgrass, you can actually mix this product in with something like a 2,4-D in order to give you a broader coverage. I know there are different chemicals on the market that will give you insanely great results, which I will try out in other videos. It's important to read the label and understand exactly how you weigh this product out and exactly how you mix this product. Hope you found this video useful and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.